we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the miraculous story of the trapped miners' rescue on this glorious day. We return to our correspondent, Dilsey Bob, who has one of the miners for an interview. Dilsey Bob? Hi, Diane. I'm here with Rodrigo Jimenez, who was just rescued. Rodrigo, it was a harrowing experience. How did you keep your sanity? Prayer and faith, my friend. All of you? Yes. We knew God when our us perish. We were not alone. God answered our prayers and saved us. Really? Didn't know who trapped you. Was it not God? <laughs> um, yes. Why? I mean, God was on high looking down on you, said to himself, Let me trap these motherfuckers underground. And then said, Let me free these bastards from underground. Are you serious? Why would God do that? What purpose would it serve? It makes no sense. In fact, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't know why God did it. Then how do you know God did it? Because God spoke to me as I prayed, and he said he would free me. Truly. So what is God, a baritone, soprano, practical joker, moron? God is everything. So he's a practical joking moron. No, he wanted to know we are true to him. God was testing our faith. I thought God knew everything. Get away from me. So there you have it, Diane. All the miners praised God for saving them. None of them thanked the actual rescuers who pulled their asses out of the mine. And strangely, none of them thanked God for trapping them. A phenomenon I can only chalk up to selective memory. Did you speak to any of the other miners? Yes, Diane. We talked to the God-fearing adulterer of the group. Jesus Guapo. How are you? Are you delighted to be above ground? Yes. My lord, the great Jesus Christ, did not let me down. Evidently. And this lovely lady is your side ass. Your mistress. Your wife didn't show up when she discovered you had a mistress because of all this. How do you feel about that? Jesus knows all. If my wife is not here, she was not meant to be. This confirms who really loves me. Yes. And so does Jesus really love you? He freed me. I guess you missed the Bible verse where Jesus states he hates adulterers. So, uh, why did it save you? I have nothing more to say to you, you God-hater. And I guess your wife has nothing more to say to you, you God-lover. So there you have it, Diane. The adulterer still loves Jesus. The guy whom Jesus states is to be put to death. God can apparently slaughter a million babies in one night in Egypt, but can't whack one adulterer. Back to you, Diane. I'm going to go find a secluded spot to nut on Mary without her permission, because I hear she's into that shit.